Okay, this is news update on the story reported by Hong Kong Bank, you know, sign fire. And there, today I went by there today and I went and I talked to, went on the site and I talked to the job site supervisor, under Fry Construction job site supervisor. And this is what happened. He told me what happened. There was some kids. Four teenagers, nothing to do because of that. I went in there and they set up the uh, whole the underpass, walkway underpass, to go around the construction. I set that on fire and, and burnt, and that fire spread through a plywood and up through the sign. And it threw a lighter fuel and I lit up, and then that spread to the sign. And, and the next thing you know, that what happened there basically. So, what happened was it burnt the sign. Not only that, it did a lot of damage. On 40 of those kids, they are, they've been arrested, caught, shot, and put in jail where they belong, waiting trial. Won't get to trial until, 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 until um, things get back to normal for the pandemic. Otherwise, lo and behold, they are in jail, incarcerated. And, it, and you know what? The judge probably going to give them lots of this to think about it. Don't forget a lot of this to think about time. Lots of time to think about it. Yeah. Lots and lots of this to think about time. Time to think about it, I know. Of course, you know, if I get about, I get 10 to 15 years to think about it, a hefty arson fine. One way or another. So, hmm. So, crime don't pay, whether they're, whether we are, whether a pandemic like Corona by Corona Corona out there, doing crime during the pandemic, crime don't pay. Not to do with boredom, I guess, from people being, you know, stay at home, stay home, save life, do your part. To prevent the spread of a COVID Corona Corona. Well, out there, do your part, stay home, save life, and do your part, please. That all the uh, all the government doing it worldwide has to do this. I hope you please follow by. But good thing is, Doug Ford is talking about getting the comedy back up and going slowly, and it be uh, one little bit at a time. But I say, I, if he gets it going, it'll be, I be. I say the one little bit of time. I I can do a rough estimate now. Rough estimate is probably by the end of May. Most of the coming may be up and running. I maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's sort of estimating from what it is now. I can estimate sort of by by the end of May going into June. Maybe by about June, around about mid mid about middle of June, whole all be up and running again at normal. People will pay for things again. I really still will be open at normal. Pretty much near normal by the time that I come, things are back to normal pretty much. I sort of estimate, that's my rough estimate there of what I've been hearing on media sources out there, like on CBC and stuff. So, that roughly what I've been hearing. It's going to be a slow trickle, but I already noticed that this afternoon. Work sites are back in order, started up again. Construction sites all started up again. That's a good sign. And some small stores like uh, liquidation stores are reopened. And maybe some, and that so I have no that this little trickle right there. Already seen it already, no little trickles already. Let's hope we get a little more coming out of there. Okay, let's see a little more in the future. Hope this more happen. I love to get back to Willow Place. I love to do all these things. I miss everybody. I can't, you know, Think of what it's like. I'd love to get back in that on Airbus CFU. I haven't been there for over two months. Oh man, I'll get back. You know what? It takes time. This is very serious. Coronavirus is a very, very, very serious thing. I've been out there. I know. I have seen people not so today. I've seen people sit there. I've seen, I've seen a lot of tickets been handed out. For, so. Even today, I'm down walking past BC Park, all things I knew. Very close, I was 
your kids are on this up in the ramp skateboarding on a skateboard ramp. All going off a caution tape. You can't do that. I'm not allowed to. The police came by and told them to get off this spicking board and leave. And what they do is they turned told the cop where to go. I repeatedly refused to leave. But the cop went on and grabbed them off the skateboard and all the other kids other little teenagers got really pissed off about it. They were not too happy. You know what they did? Well, the couple of adults, all these kids got, every one of them got tickets on the Emergency Measure Act for this end criminal trespass on the Emergency Measure Act. Because, you know, you're not really allowed to do it. Like, I, I walk into a city park someday, I get lunch, well, I walk in city park. I, I don't have my lunch, but I, I pretty get up and I pretty leave immediately because, you know, they, you know, please don't really bother me. All they see is somebody eating a lunch. And they feel bad, this lady eats her lunch there. It tells me your styrofoam container eating lunch in a park. They think that's pretty normal. That is normal me to do that. Well, you know, that's normal. But hopefully someday I won't have to, hopefully sooner or later I don't have to do that. I can sit inside a nice, comfortable, dining room at missing service and eat my lunch in there someday. But may happen may not happen for another few weeks or so. Anyway, blog over.